Let's try this again with a new camera. Uh, good morning, this is Jeremy with Easy Logistics Management. Wanted to talk to you today. Um, we've talked about API integration to specific platforms, but I wanted to kind of walk through the uses of an open API and how you can connect different modes of shipping service to the majority of the platforms that you would be using in your business or enterprise probably and how that kind of plays out and makes your life a little bit easier, helps you save money uh, and automates process. So there are um, fixed APIs, which we do have to a lot of different platforms, e-commerce systems, things like that, where you just basically it's an app and you configure it. But an open API uh, is basically something that you can program to almost anything or uh, you know modify to communicate with almost any platform that will communicate an API which is basically application programming interface it's just a, a common language that will allow different platforms on the internet uh, and computers to talk back and forth in a common language um, but we have a general open API that will connect a variety of things to a variety of platforms and, and other logistics companies have this too but I kind of wanted to talk you through how you can use it and what you can use it for. So using OpenAPI, you can generally connect uh, FedEx, UPS, and probably even U USPS small parcel shipping. Um, you can connect freight shipping, both on the LTL side, um, possibly on the truckload, for sure on the LTL side, um, and any heavier shipments that you would be uh, using in your business. And then uh, third-party warehousing and fulfillment centers, generally you can connect uh, using open API. <clears throat> and then probably international services as well. This isn't our strongest suit, but I'm sure um, our partners like Shelter and other companies like that do have uh, API integration. And what you can do is connect all these shipping services, uh, discounted pricing and service levels to your e-commerce system, whether that be uh, Shopify, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, um, or any of the other bigger brands um, that do offer API integrations. Um, your ERP business software, whether it be NetSuite, SAP, Oracle, or the myriad of back-end business softwares that companies can use. Um, <clears throat> it will also connect to accounting systems, I believe even um, QuickBooks Enterprise has an API connectivity um, module or option, um, or any other order management platforms that might connect you know, to Walmart.com or Amazon or Target or any of the you know, multi-channel online uh, third party sales and um, product selling sites that you might be using in this modern e-commerce era that we're in. Um, but yeah, basically it will allow these platforms to talk to all these modes of shipping if connected correctly. Um, I know this for a fact because ours does this uh, for your discounted FedEx rates or uh, UPS rates, discounted freight rates, third party warehousing rates, or you know, you know any of those shipping services that you use. So I know sometimes it can be frustrating to set these up, but it really, um, you know, mainly a lot of it follows business rules. Um, so just what makes sense for your business and how do you want it configured for your business rules so that it makes sense and makes your life easier. Uh, and then, uh, you know, ideally the reason that you would want to use it is to, to scale up faster um, because you're automating more of these shipping processes that maybe aren't super complicated, but it takes time to put in all the orders and book all the shipments. And if you can automate more of that, um, you're going to have more time to to put into product development, sales, marketing, process improvements, things like that. Um, you're obviously going to save money too because uh, you don't really need as many people to run your logistics department or your operations department because you will have predefined a lot of those rules and it'll just flow through seamlessly, you know, quoting the shipping and dispatching the loads when people buy your products. Literally in our e-commerce module, you'll get onto your Shopify or whatever site, pick the products that you want. It'll rate the FedEx or freight shipping based on predefined parameters that we set up or help you set up. And then your client can pay for the 
both the product and the shipping uh, in the shopping cart and then the load dispatches so it really automates kind of the whole process um, you can lower your headcount in your business you won't need as many people to run your logistics and operations department because it will be fully automated um, doesn't mean that you'll be letting all those people go but maybe you can retask them with more uh, profit oriented or operations system improvement oriented tasks that can make your business you know run better grow faster make more money hopefully I mean that would be what I would do if I were in your case and then um, uh, pay per use is another one I put in here um, but that probably pertains more to like the third party warehousing where um, you know if you forego having your own warehouse or can have less warehouse or office space you really just and, and automate it into your systems you're just paying for the the pallet positions or seasonal use um, of the 3PL warehousing and fulfillment system um, this is a major selling point of, of using third-party warehouses uh, you know if you're seasonal for sure or you know just when there's intermittent disruptions it allows you to scale and uh, deplete your inventory you know faster without having those fixed carrying costs of owning your own warehouse insurance power uh, labor all those things where you can't just scale up and scale down so fast uh, but these are things that we grapple with with our clients every day um, if you're pulling your hair out and you don't really know where to start or you're getting stuck um, we've seen this I mean it can get somewhat complicated but a lot of it comes down to business rules and just you know defining them logically how you want that to play out between your rates and your shipping modes and your products that are selling or your orders that are coming through so um, I'm happy to have a quick meeting with you and kind of walk you through how we do it uh, show you our open API and what you can connect it to and I can be reached at 866-854-5341 extension 3 or Jeremy at easylogisticsmanagement.com I uh, hope you're having a great week and we hope to talk to you soon